Uh, thank you for the introduction. This is a <coughs> joint work with Hong Lian Wang and Aristides Jonas. The title of our paper is Finding Lenses Subgraphs with Edge Color Constraints. So I go briefly about <coughs> on this introduction. Networks are everywhere. We saw this already several times. There are social networks, communication networks, financial networks, and so on. And we use the standard model of undirected graphs where we have a set of nodes representing the and um, the entities and a set of undirected edges connecting these uh, nodes and representing relationships. And one of the classical problems is a denser subgraph problem where we are given an undirected graph and we want to find a subset S of the nodes such that we maximize this density where um, the density is defined as the number of edges in the by S induced subgraph um, divided by the size of S. And there are many applications for this. For example, in social networks, we can uh, use it to discover groups with strong interactions. And it has been used in a lot of other uh, tasks, like detecting fraudulent behavior and uh, finding interactive proteins, or also for content recommendation. So <clears throat> uh, let me close this. Yeah. So uh, take a look at this example. Now we have a graph here uh, where we have different relationship types which are um, shown as different colors on the edges. So we have relationship type 1 with this uh, blue edges and um, relationship type 2 with this red dashed edges. And if we um, just consider the unconstrained denser subgraph problem, then the um, optimal solution would be this uh, set S1 or this click here. This is the densest unconstrained subgraph. However, if we require to have at least four edges um, of the relationship type 2, then the optimal solution is uh, the second, uh, or this, including these nodes i, j, l, and k. So, um, and we are interested in finding denser subgraphs with such uh, constraints on the number of colors of the edges. Formally, we define our problem as follows. We are given an edge-colored uh, graph. So it's an undirected graph where we have additionally this function C that assigns to each edge a set of colors. Then we have um, the, number, the maximum number of colors in our graph pi and a vector H of length pi giving us a, a, a constraint for each um, color. So our goal is then to find, uh, again, a subset of the nodes such that each of the um, color constraints is fulfilled and the density is maximized. And what does it mean that the color um, requirements are fulfilled? We have at least HI edges that have in their color set the color I. Similarly, we can define the, the variant for having exactly HI edges of color i or at most. So, and what are the possible applications for this? One would be web graph analysis. Here the graph consists um, out of web pages uh, represented by the nodes. And edges between these web pages could be citations or hyperlinks. And the colors of the edges represent the meta information describing the relationship. In this example here, it would be agreement or, or disagreement. And the goal is to find a denser subgraph that has some diversity constraints. For example, we want to have a dense subgraph that has um, agreement and disagreement between the web content. Another application would be online social network analysis. Here the graph is a social network where the nodes are the users and the edges the uh, relationships between the users. The colors of the edges represent then, for example, if it's a friendship, relationship, family, or uh, a work relationship, for example. And finally, we have the application of uh, fraud detection, where the nodes represent uh, financial institutions or the customers, and the colors of the edges represent high-value transactions, uh, suspicious locations, or transactions during non-business hours. And finding a dense subgraph with a lot of these suspicious um, <coughs> attributes might lead to identifying some uh, fraudster network. So, but on the other hand, if you 
think about the question if I have a, a graph that is colored and I compute the denser subgraph, maybe I already have the same color distribution. But this is not the case. For example, you see here this knowledge graph with um, these colors um, in the original graph and then the color distribution in the denser subgraph. And we see that um, for these uh, colors here in the front where that have a high ratio, they don't even appear in the denser subgraph. And we see similar results for data sets with bina binary colors. So next we took a look at the hardness and even if we only have one color, the corresponding uh, decision problem is NP-complete. And the same holds for the at most edges variant and the exactly H edges variant. So because these problems are hard, we uh, introduce an approximation algorithm. And to do this, we first define a different variant of the problem where we ignore the colors. So here we are interested in finding a denser subgraph where um, we are only required to have H edges. And the idea is to first approximate this uh, problem and find approximation for that a denser subgraph is H edges, check if it all fulfills all color requirements, and if not, we add uh, missing edges with the specific colors. And this works in sparse graphs. So a graph is sparse if the number of edges is in, uh, asymptotically in order of the nodes, and especially we need uh, the property of everywhere sparse, where this holds for each induced subgraph, each possible induced subgraph. So um, the idea for approximating the um, at least H edges denser subgraph is that we uh, approximate the at least K nodes denser subgraph variant, where we find a denser subgraph is that has at least K nodes. And we just guess the number of nodes in our at least H edges denser subgraph. And for this approximation, we use the two approximation of Kula and Zaha. If such an approximated DSP doesn't have uh, H edges, we add the, just enough edges such that we have H edges, and then we return the, uh, in the end the graphs that we found with the maximum density. And this we can use for approximating the at least H colors denser subgraph. This is very easy now. We approximate the denser subgraph with at least H edges, where we set H to be the sum of all um, color requirements. And if we miss some color requirement, we add the missing edges um, that have the right colors. And this is a constant factor approximation and is in uh, linear running time. So far, we only had one color per edge. But um, if you remember, the, uh, we assign possibly sets of uh, colors to the edges. But we, instead of having um, one edge with multiple colors, we replace this with multiple edges of different colors, as you see on the right. This can be also interpreted as a weight. Also, um, edges with many colors have a higher importance, and then because they uh, cover more color requirements. And our proofs and algorithms still work for the weighted case. So we can directly apply this. We run uh, a few experiments on several data sets, which have colors between 2 and 168 colors. And uh, the minimum number of colors at the edges is between 2 and 21. So first, uh, we took a look at how is the approximation quality. And to this end, we uh, generated 100 random problem instances with uh, random color requirements. And lambda denotes a fraction of uh, required edges. We compare this with some simple heuristic. Call approx is our approximation algorithm. And we introduce some ILP for solving the problem exactly. So these are small instances. And we see that uh, our approximation algorithm often finds the optimal solution or is close, close to the optimal solution, as you see here. So in 7 to 22% of the instances, uh, the approximation finds the optimal solution. And in 70 to 95%, the error is within 1%. So then we took a look how um, does increasing the color requirement requirements affect the density. And as we expect, the density decreases because we have to include more and more fraction or a larger fraction of the graph into the solution. However, the, our approximation algorithm still beats the um, 
heuristic also for um, in larger data set and um, for increasing color densities. The running time is uh, similar to the um, general denser subgraph and reduces for higher color requirements because the subroutine where we need to find at least H edges can stop earlier because uh, the sum of uh, required edges depends on the uh, color requirements. Okay, and finally, we um, have some use case where we are given uh, where we are given a subgraph of the DBLP data set, um, which contains the data of ten data mining conferences. And our goal is now to find the densest subgraph that contain contains uh, publications of all conferences. So for each color or each conference, uh, we set then the color requirement to the total number of publications in this. Um, conference divided by uh, 10, 100, or 1,000. And we compare this to the unconstrained DSP and to a denser subgraph algorithm for multilayer graphs by Gallenbert et al., where we have this parameter beta, uh, beta that uh, reflects the importance of more layers. We see for the unconstrained DSP, we have a high density, but we only find two layers. So remember, the goal is to find all 10 layers or have all 10 layers included in our solution. And for the baseline, this only happens for a very high value of um, beta. But um, in this case, the density is already quite low. Uh, where by, for our solution, by definition, we always have all 10 layers. And I have a, a higher density up to 9.5. So in conclusion, we introduced um, the the DSP with uh, color requirements on the edges. And in future work, we want to improve the approximation results uh, for non-sparse graphs and introduce algorithms for the other two variants of finding um, having color requirements that are exact or at most. Thank you.